my legs are tangling off the edge The bottom of the bottle is my only friend I think I'll slip my wrist again and I'm gone, 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 gone my Hello guys, Puffam here with a quick tutorial on how to use Cinema 40 to make some cool 3D text and import that into Photoshop or something like that. So we're gonna get our Photoshop. Uh, All right. Also, it's Puffam here, guys. Just so you know who I am. <laughs> um, open up Photoshop. Now, what you're gonna want to do? Get rid of that. You're gonna want to create a new one. Get my materials in here. Now what you want to do is go MoGraph, MoText, I always center mine, makes it easier, I always put 80 depth, I put start filler cap and filler cap, radius for the start is 8, center it up, Oop. I want to center it up a little, off right or anything, create a camera, go on the camera view, set a keyframe, then go back to the spot. Then what you want to do is change the text to whatever you want. Someone's going to puff them. Then you're going to want to go change the font. I'm going to use Batman Forever because that is just an epic font. Now, of course, I'm going to have to zoom it out. Click camera. Ooh. Zoom it out. Keyframe so we don't lose our spots. Add your favorite color. So I'm going to add a purple. That's the wrong purple. Add this purple. There we go. Then I'm going to add blue. On, no, not blue. Then I'm going to add orange on the edge. Then R1. There we go. Why do we keep. Oh. Ah, oh, I deleted the camera by accident. Doesn't matter. Create a new camera. So cool, guys. Now, once you got that, this is pretty much the finished step. If you want to add a HDRI, just go the light symbol up here. Create a sky. Get your HDRI. Choose the one you want. Oh. Put it in. No. Cinema 40 tags, compositing, see my camera off, and then so far we should have this, which looks nice, I guess. And then we're gonna go output, I'm gonna do 720, and then just make sure it's current frame, save as a PNG, and turn alpha channel on. That will give you the accessibility to put it in there, to put it in Photoshop and make a global luminization. And then I'm going to add a ambient occlusion just because I can. Um, once you got that, it's always good just to check to see if it'll look good. But of course, what you're going to want to do is render that. So, oh, poop, I'm going to have to stop the rendering of this, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. Yes, okay. So once you got that, yeah, you're happy with that, then you're going to want to render it. Now, go to Photoshop. If you're making this for a YouTube design, you're going to want to open up the, uh, you got your screenshot on if you did. Uh, no, that's not it. Where are we? Must be my actual f YouTube background file. YouTube background designs. Pop them channel. Yep. Yeah. So here's a channel. Just gonna quickly zoom in. Um, now we're back in. Five seconds, guys. Literally just five seconds. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, big transformation, guys. Um, I will have a tutorial showing you how to do that. So, as I was saying, um, 
that will be in a tutorial on how to get this from what I had before. Anyway, so now, as you can see, we have our two texts. No, our one text. Why did I say two texts? They both should be PNGs. So they should be PNGs. Oh, what, what am I doing today? Um. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a guess that it is PNG. Hopefully. Um. So what you wanna do is file because I made two, so I can show you the different spots. Yeah. Okay. Set. The main thing, oh, that was actually really helpful. The main thing in a PNG, okay, is that it will not have a background. So as you can see, um, <coughs> in Photoshop or Paint or whatever, when it's like this, ooh, oops, when it's like this, okay, like all those little squares and stuff, that means that when you print it off, it'll be white. But on computers there is no background at all so if there was a picture behind this wherever you can see a little square little thing that is where the picture will be so if you had another one it would be a white background you'd have to use the magic tool sometimes you miss out on little shadowings and stuff like that it's just annoying so anyway so in order to get in you just go file place desktop we'll find out PNG here we go, and just uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but I get one sec. Just gotta switch this to top layer. Come on, and there we go. Now, of course, you can change the angling. That looks a little bad, so I should have changed the angle so it was done a little. Gotta start rendering that. I forgot to render that before. Um, but yes, so that is how we do that. And yeah, once you get it, you can add in, uh, what do you call it, symbols, logos, lettering, whatever you want. And if you would like me to make you a. Sorry, if you'd like me to make you a. um. YouTube background, just inbox me. I'll be glad to do it for you. So, um, and also, <coughs> the reason why these look so different is because I've actually changed it. So, my sub subscriber box is up here, so all the people who subscribe to me are up here. So, and then I can add stuff down here. And yes, and it makes it longer so I can do more stuff. Lots of stuff in there, isn't it? <laughs> but yes, thank you for watching this. That is how to make text for photoshop or whatever um hope you've enjoyed this tutorial <sighs> um please like it it really helps you wouldn't be surprised how much a like helps please favorite it share it subscribe and i have a question for you guys what tutorial would you like next huh would you like to know how to Make your own YouTube background so you can get something that looks like this. <laughs> yes, it uh, looks like this. Very effective, very nice looking. Uh, or would you just like anything, really? Ooh, what was that? It's up to you. But as you can see, I the angling right there. Looks effective. But yeah, so, would you like a tutorial on how to make your own YouTube background? Or would you like another tutorial to do a Cinema 4D? So, thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.